Remember, this video is my opinion, and Mr. Gray is not affiliated with my opinion. He has his own opinions, and my opinions do not reflect his. This video stood out to me. This clip that Mr. Gray reacted to stood out to me, and it stood out big time. So I'm going to show you what I saw in this clip. You can take it for what it's worth. You can believe it, not believe it. That is up to you. I can only provide the clip and the evidence that I see. But at the end of the day, you make your own decision. Hey everybody, it's Shapey Poo. Now, I was just into Bunkers Anonymous on Facebook, that group that you could, you know, you could go join if you want to. It's really where we talk to Bunkin 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You know, minding my own business. When I got a message from I had to redact this part for privacy reasons moving on a new video the their american counterpart my haunted project a new video and i was like huh that that's pretty interesting she said they already caught a full-bodied apparition i was like wow that fast but jumped on youtube and i was scrolling and i saw that uh world of mr gray had uh uploaded a video on my haunted project. And I was like, huh, that's interesting. I'll go take a look. Uh, now, I'm going to get this out right now. I'm sub to Mr. Gray, World of Mr. Gray. Uh, Dan is one of the best debunkers on YouTube, if not the best. So I'm not trying to throw any shade toward him whatsoever. Uh, the reason I'm pointing it out is because I saw it in his video. So I wanted to give him credit. I'll put his channel down below in the comments. I suggest you go check him out. But I agree with most of what he said in the video, his video. But as I was watching it, something just stood out to me. And you'll want to watch this whole video. And what stood out to me, when I put it through my editor, it kept just standing out more and more. And it is unreal what you can see if you really pay attention. Let's get into this video. So Mr. Gray uploaded a video and I saw it and something really stood out to me on the clip that he showed. Two different camera angles. Let's get into it. Debunking something doesn't mean it's fake. It's a plain as day breakdown analysis slash debunking. And there's one scene we're gonna do, right? There's literally only one scene that I'm interested in to know. And it's one scene that I'm interested in as well. Now, <clears throat> I want to make it abundantly clear that everything I state in this video is my opinion. Mr. Gray has nothing to do with this video except the fact that, you know, that I'm reacting to his video. But Mr. Gray has nothing to do with it. His opinions are his opinions alone, and my opinions are my opinions alone. Uh, I want to make that clear. And, like I said, at the end of the day, you guys can decide whether I'm right or wrong. It's, that's it, but I have to say it again. Anybody featured in a video, please do not go to their channel being mean or cruel or anything. I don't condone that. I never have. Moving on. Now, the scene is involved. I think there's three people in a room. I don't know which room it is. I haven't, I haven't gone through the, the manor myself yet. But um, it's, there, there's two people across one room, and there's a guy holding the camera at the other side of the room. Now they're asking for someone, sorry, that was me knocking. They're asking for someone to uh, uh, ask, can you play Twinkle Twinkle? I don't know, maybe I need to full, watch the full episode. They call out and they hear something, but we'll get to that. We're gonna watch the clip first and the two camera angles. And we'll you see it in the hallway, right? It's a little smaller. Yes. So I wonder if it drives by, if we'll see it. Can you set off Twinkle Twinkle again for us? A spine-chilling piece of audio has just been captured in the kids' room. Listen again as we enhance this. And this is not coming from this guest here who is holding the camera. Can you set off Twinkle Twinkle again for us? 
Exhale. I heard that too. Yeah. It almost sounded like now. Yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so I that was not of us? That no. wasn't me. <laughs> was that one of them upstairs? No. Obviously, they call out, can, you, can someone play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? How I wonder what you are. All, all of them here, they all react to, no. No, this, I've taken into software, right? And I've synced to both camera angles. The one where the camera guy is pointing at the two girls and the CCTV camera, which has audio, but we'll get to the audio now. So this is, this is them synced up. Twinkle, twinkle again. Now there's something really telling about that. Right? If I just sh quickly show you the one from the camera angle, the camera guy's angle, and then we'll go flick to the CCTV angle. Twinkle, twinkle again for us. Now the uh, no, no, that is extremely close to the camera mic. Now most microphones they have like a single directional mic. Some of them have an omnidirectional where basically it's sounds it'll pick up all around it you know spatial awareness spatial awareness spatial audio it'll pick it up all around them but most cameras and you know most modern cameras do have like say two microphones encased into one point in different air directions to give that stereo stereo spatial audio you hear the no and it's very distinct, and Mr. Gray is pointing out that he thinks it's the guy behind the camera. He's not saying the guy actually knew about it, like he may have done it and just wasn't really paying attention, maybe not even known that he, that he had done it. And I, I believe Mr. Gray when he says that he's done that on his investigations because he's a, he seems pretty straightforward and honest to me, so I don't doubt his word. But my video ain't about the no, even though I'm gonna show you something. If we listen to the dude speak, and this is the guy speaking when they say, well, this is what I heard. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, that's what I heard. No, that's his voice. It's, no, I'm not, a, I'm not a linguistic expert, right? I'll just state that as a fact right now but I can use my ears. Um, positioning is the same as when he's speaking. Can I prove that 100%? No, I can't. Right. Now I'm gonna give him the benefit of doubt and say, like I said, and say he didn't do it on purpose. All right, Mr. Gray, I'll take over from here. Now this is where Shapey Poo takes over. And real quick, I want to point out that when you hear the no, the guy, that we think may have accidentally said it, he says it again in the video a little bit later. He says it because he heard it and he's saying what he heard. So I'm gonna compare the two no's for you guys. Listen carefully and make your own decision. I, I don't, I, I'm inclined to believe Mr. Gray as far as maybe he don't remember doing it, but I'm also part of him, he's like, maybe he did. But let's compare the two no. 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 Now, before you say, yeah, they're showing the room camera of him saying no as well. They're showing the audio of the static room camera and the handheld camera. But the problem is that wasn't that no I added just then was not the room camera of the no. It was the room camera of him just talking amongst them and saying no. That's the ones I was comparing. Mind blowing, huh? But what really stood out to me ain't so much the audio as it is the visuals. And I want you to focus on this clip right here. And I want you to pay attention to when it says no. I want you to pay attention to the, the handheld camera and the way he's moving it as it says no. As it says no, look how shaky the camera is as it says no. So when you hear it say no on the handheld camera, as it's saying no, I just showed you that the camera is doing this right here. Now, let's cut to the room camera at the exact time that it says no. And I want you to look at the, the guy holding the camera. Four. Four. 
So how do we go from a shaky camera to this steady cam as it says no? Did you catch it? As you see, the room camera, during when it says no, that camera is not moving hardly at all. Like, none. So it's not matching up the handheld. No. Now, there's more. Uh, the flashlight in the room, whatever light that is, uh, I want you to pay attention to when she says a certain word on the handheld camera. And then we're going to jump to the room camera. And I'm going to show you another difference in that shot. You set off Twinkle Twinkle again for us. So as she asked the question, look at the lights up here. They're not blinking. As she asked the question, <clears throat> can you set off Twinkle Twinkle again for us? You pay attention to the lights from the handheld camera. Those lights aren't doing much of anything. But when you look at the room shot, as she's asking this question, look at those flashlights, blinking lights, whatever. Can you set off Twinkle Twinkle again for us? But as we hear her ask the question on this camera, look at the lights. They're going crazy. Now, how do we go from this right here with no light action to all these lights flashing and blinking on this camera? So, in the handheld shot, those lights aren't doing much at all. But as soon as they show the same scene, now, exact same time, in the room camera, the lights are blinking real bad as they're asking the same question at the same time. The camera doesn't match the movement of the camera and the blinking lights. But now let's look at the dowsing rods that lady is holding. Now focus on the rods as she says this line. That was really exhale. I heard that too. Yeah. That was really exhale. I heard that too. Yeah. As you can see, the rods never cross each other. Now this is the exact same clip but different camera. That was really exhale. I heard that too. Yeah. That was really exhale. I heard that too. Yeah. You can clearly see the rods crossing each other. How did they go from this to this? That makes no sense. Okay, that's three things that are different. Um, the camera, the handheld camera, isn't moving the way the handheld shot shows in the room camera. The blinking lights don't match up at all. And the dowson rod movement during certain lines aren't matching the room camera from the handheld camera. Even though it's the same dialogue on both, they don't match up at all. That makes no sense. Now, I did see one thing I want to show you. I'm not sure, though, if it's a cut or, like, lag. But I want you to take a look at this. Can you set off Twinkle Twinkle again for us? I can't prove that that's a cut, but it does look like a cut that's hidden under when the light comes on. But it could be lag. But lag doesn't account for the other stuff, you know. None of it matches up. It's as if the sound was overlaid on a completely different time. It's not like it's lagging one second. No, not lag, because there, none of the movements match. None of the blinking lights, the camera, the moving the rods, none of that matches. So it's a completely different time in the video. Now... Could it be in 10 seconds after or 10 seconds before and the sound's overlaid? I guess. I don't know. I'm not the editor. But I, I'm sure anybody could see why I would question that. Because none of it matches up. Even though it's supposed to be shot at the exact same time, just different camera angles. But it's not the same time. They're, everybody's moving different. And everything's moving different. So it can't be the same time. But we still hear the voice on the room camera as if it is the same time. There's a possible cut as soon as this light turns on. It's hard to see. Can you set off Twinkle Twinkle again for us? But when you zoom in, look closely. Right here. Do you see that? Let's look at it over and over. See? That's how drastic the move is of his head now it might not be it could be lag but watch you see that what i'm saying is the two scenes the two different camera angles that's supposed to be happening at the same time they don't match up at all i mean the movements of any of these three people in this room right here they don't match up 
there's nothing that matches up. And I think that's worth questioning. But at the end of the day, it's up to you. Now, the question would be, was it done on purpose or was it done by accident? And that's up to you as well. But I figured I'd point out this because it stands. Now, remember, these are my opinions and my opinions alone. So what, what have we established? We have established that those two different camera angles didn't happen at the same time, even though the audio says otherwise. So we know that. So the question would be, why did that happen? Either it was, I don't know, some editing glitch, or it was done on purpose. Either it was done by accident or on purpose. That's the only two logical questions you can ask. Now, my opinion, and keep in mind this is my opinion, uh, that does look like a cut. There's just too many things wrong with it. You would have to overlay that sound. Am I right or wrong? I mean, does it does the room camera not have raw audio, or do you have to overlay the sound, or does it automatically come out? You know what I mean, and you just turn the volume up however loud you want. Comment below. I don't know. I'm not pointing no fingers. I don't think I don't think the ghost hunters were trying to fake anything in this or anything like that. But whoever edited that video, I don't know. I think you may need to fix that, if anything. But, hey, that's just my opinion. I love you guys. I told you this is a banger. And I'll see you in the next video. Y'all come back now. Hear peace. Banger coming.